Yeah. yeah. You're not the only one with something to sell. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Book. Oh, it's a nice, clean piece it's of It's the autobiography. Ah. Boss, so packed with incident as the man's life been, you only get to 18. <laughs> it ends with the phone call yeah, saying you're going to be a dad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And are you right? Is there going to be a volume two? Well, what I did, Graham, I finished that and I was like, I was in this sort of craze frenzy. My eyes were going around in my head like, a, you know, and I was like this. So I just <laughs> carried on. So I finished half of the second book now. And well, how far is that going to go up to? Uh, that, that's the up to death. Believe you, oh, man. Right, yeah. <laughs> because it's going to be like the Lord of the Rings, this thing, if I don't... No, really. People are going to be saying, when is this swine going to die? <laughs> I mean, is it ever going to end the saga? And were you worried about upsetting, kind of, you know the people up there? Well, the thing is, I thought, right, this is my memories. I mean, it really is. I'm vi I had vivid memories of sort of standing in shops with my mother, like this. While my mother and the shopkeeper had a go at each other because my mother never ever paid a paper bill. So the paper bill would mount right up until the woman in the shop would say, Tell your mum she owes 15 weeks. <laughs> and I'd crawl out of the shop, you know, with shame. And I'd go back and tell her and she'd say, Did she know? And off she'd go. And battle would commence. But very genteel, you know, it wasn't like, there were no fisticuffs or anything. But what I wanted to illustrate was where Lily came from. And it was from these women, these, these like really fabulous women who had this verbal and verbal you couldn't match, you know? You, I wish I'd have written it down. Actually, while you bring up Lily, so Paul used to have an alter ego. A uh, dead ring. Called Lily Savage. I had, I had psychiatric treatments. <laughs> Are you making that no, up? No, no, no. Not too bad now, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is Paul. This is, that's Paul as Lily. You're making that that's up. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, I know. No, this is the weird thing. So Paul in Britain was a huge star as Lily Savage. Yeah. And now has stopped and become a huge star as Paula Grady. Oh, you're kidding. No, honestly. <laughs> seriously. I gave it up. We have a thing called pantomime over here. So I can tell <laughs> you don't believe a word of this, do you? No, but I can tell you like a good cheap wig too. I do, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, I was doing panto. And it was a matinee, and we'd been out all night, you know, partying. <laughs> And the wicked, I was playing Snow White's mother, the Wicked Queen. <laughs> That's a long, you don't believe a word of this, do you? <laughs> no, but it's the truth. And I came, they truck me out on a chaise lounge, and I'm like death, literally, you know, holding the hand mirror. And the line was, I'm the most beautiful creature in the world. <laughs> and so I came out like a bag of coal on the thing, <laughs> <laughs> like in a crematorium, and I went, and then I, yeah, so well, okay. and I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror, and I thought, oh my Christ, it's Mara Hindley. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember going in the dressing room and saying, I can't do this anymore. I really can't do this anymore. And that, that was it. You know, finished the panto and never did it again. And are you a different person now that Lily's not in your life? Yeah, I've toned right down. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, sort of. I mean, because I used to like the anarchy of Lily, you know, because yeah. you could get up and you could do all these really lewd and lurdy gags and say anything you like about people. But since I've been doing the five o'clock show, I'm afraid I've had to go more like Snow White than her mother. <laughs> <laughs> and if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever attempted to write an autobiography? Heck no. No? No, no, no. Even when I did um, Walk the Line and we did it about John, um, Johnny Cash and his wife and stuff, and I just thought if anybody ever wrote anything about my family, I'd just be like, I'd, mo I'd be mortified. I'd just be sweating <laughs> until <laughs> it came out. Like, I wouldn't know what to do. It's so. like leaving your diary on a bus. Yeah, you know? yeah. It really is. And it, but you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. And That's if, you, right. if you're going to be true, then you've got to put warts and all. And I've, I mean, it's all in there about me as well, my That's carry right. on. Yeah. yeah. It's very yeah. healing to tell the truth. Not really. I mean,. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I thought it was like cheap therapy. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't. I used to panic all the time. And then when some of the neighbours kicked up, I thought, oh, no, because I really like these people. And I thought, I've upset them all. Mm. But that's how I saw it. In the second book, there's the other side of them. Oh, they oh, love it. God, they love it. Oh, marvelous. When they do the musical on ice. <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is, see, in Paul's book, he just does the first 18 years. So what we thought we could do, a book for you, but on a very, very... Short time span. For, okay. for instance, just say the time you've spent on this show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, now, obviously, we need a ghostwriter. Okay. Because who's going to write it themselves? Uh, so, hey, excuse me. No, I wrote mine too. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, So uh, we need someone uh, who can write, read, write anything. <laughs> anything at all? Oh, uh, are any of you look at all clever? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Anyone do it? You'll do it. Will you do it? Yeah, you look clever. You do. Look. 
So all you have to do is just write a very brief thing. You know the thing on the inside flap? Kind of, you know, it was an evening of highs and lows, we laughed to cry, that kind of thing. Just to, me, just to encourage people to read the book. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so, uh, OK, so that's you. You do that, and I'll get back to you in a second. Now, we'll just need the cover for the book. So, uh, backstage, our, our team are back there. Hello. It's all technology this I know. Thank you. Actually, that looks like a Dickens Christmas with some computers, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, well done. That's Jane and the team. Very good. So now we, you've got a template of a front page there. So uh, put in uh, Reese's name. That's quite big, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not great. Uh, and then just a, a little something like an evening with Graham. Now we need a title. Do, I don't, have you ever thought about a title for your book? Uh, no. Do you have any suggestions? Well, they always have a nice. They're good with a pun. Can anyone think of a, a pun name? Oh. Like Reese is the word. That kind of thing. <laughs> Reese with laughter is very good. We like that. <laughs> uh, did someone else have another one? Reese lightning. <laughs> it's quite good. Oh, Graham, you're yeah. being kind of chase. <laughs> <laughs> Reese lightning. <laughs> uh, should, we go, should we go with crease with laughter? Crease with laughter. Okay. Yeah, uh, right up, crease with laughter. There we go. Do you see? Crease with laughter. Do you get it? No. Crease. <laughs> Do you know the expression, crease with laughter? Mm -mm. Okay. What, what was that one? Crease is the word. I said that. <laughs> no, you did not. You're giving credit for everything. I did say crease is the word, didn't I? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, crease, crease with laughter. So we just need a, a picture of you now for the cover. So if you look into that camera there and just do some laughing. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, race. <laughs> now, oh, we have a quote for the back of the book, celebrity quote for the back of the book, oh, just so we can best yeah, Okay. Oh, yeah. um, the best book I've read in years. Excellent. Yeah. The book. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have you finished? Okay, what's your name? Steph. Steph? She's Steph. finished it already. Well, wow. she better have. Uh, Reese had a wondrous evening with Graham and Paul. All sorts of stuff went on. Quite vague, that, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. I nodded off minutes in. <laughs> uh, there was wigs, yes, cider, jump jumps, sick sick, ooh ooh, hurrah. All this and more in Reese the Book. Buy it now. Well done, you! Yeah. I assume that would just be rubbish, but it's, <laughs> no, no. that's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. You know, very do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a comedian. Oh, you're a comedian. <laughs> okay, it's not that good, is it? <laughs> It's very good. Uh, right. Uh, now, we, what do we do is, the other thing they do with these books, we're nearly done, uh, what they, do, they put an attention-grabbing photograph on the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll need a kind of screen grab from the show. Okay. That makes it look like it's been just wild. Okay. So <laughs> if we can um, set something up. So imagine, imagine that I've said something just awful, right? Um, try and imagine, I know, okay, it's very, yeah. it's hard. You're, you're an Oscar-winning actress. <laughs> okay. uh, and you're very offended, so just throw some water at me or something. No! Like, in real? I don't care. I'm not gonna throw stuff at you. Oh, you're so nice. Come on. You would in a shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try strangling me there. Try strangling me. Oh, gosh. No, I'll go, I'll come to you. Strangle me. <laughs> Oh, to come down. All right. Uh, you, you strangle. <laughs> oh my God. And you look horrified. Very good. Okay. Oh We're going to get that printed up. <laughs> and you can leave it in your hotel room later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. <laughs>